Today I'm going to try to play support in Apex Legends. And make no mistake about it, playing support is no walk in the park either. Especially when your whole team doesn't have any mobility whatsoever. Rampart, Bloodhound, and Lifeline. What's the worst that can happen? Getting landed on by a 3 stack, finding 2 Phoenix kits, a P20, and my teammate goes down. And for some miraculous reason, there's a random PK sitting on the ground here, so don't mind if I do. Let's just say if it wasn't for that PK, we would have been squad wiped instantly. But I think I did an okay job playing support so far. I definitely missed out on a res during that whole process, but we're getting there. And since I'm probably the worst lifeline main they've ever witnessed, I decided to give them a little peace offering with some heals. Shield set here. Thanks. And now that we're all happy and dandy, we stare out into the distance and mesmerize the perfect view. But little did my team know, I heard some shots over at Elysium. And with the evidence of the death boxes all over the ground, I knew this team had to be close. I don't know how I escaped with that much health, but my teammate Queen picks up a beautiful knock, but that came with a cost. I'm panicking, I'm panicking, I can't thirst this way. Yes, die already. Thank you for the swap. And we're learning. There's the tap and the second, but probably not the best spot to do it though. And just like that, both of my teammates are down again, but this time they're out of range for a tap. I have no clue what's going to save me in this situation. And if it wasn't for lead block crawling his way over me for the tap, which I missed by a hair, but I didn't get the armor swap, and that's probably the reason why I'm still alive. As we finally make it to the zone, we immediately start searching for the next squad to fight. And for some reason, Apex audio actually worked for once in its lifetime. Or maybe this just was a classic octane stimming around doing octane things. Got a replicator coming. Spotted. Yep, never mind, that's a full three stack. The teamwork is just getting better and better. You love to see that. But the instant third party was quick to shut down our success. With Rampart wiped, Bloodhound and I half health, there's no way we can hold the line. We need to back up. Now, I know exactly what most of you are thinking right now, but you'll come to your senses in just a few seconds. While Bloodhound, we put up a solid fight. But remember, ladies and gentlemen, it's not over till it's over. With my self res on the ready and my Bloodhound covering me with this purple knockdown, there's still hope. And you can tell Block knows that I'm getting this self res off. As simple hope slowly turns into confidence, it's immediately shut down by this psycho pathfinder.
but the fourth parties in Apex Legends are sometimes just unavoidable. The next issue I found when playing Lifeline or any support character for that matter is when your teammates expect too much out of you. Playing support means you have two huge responsibilities under your belt. And the first one is just trying to survive on your own. And the second is looking after your teammates. So I have the most respect to the players that play support on the daily. Shout out to you. You guys are what makes this game great. And unfortunately, there are some teammates you're going to find that take you for granted. But the best thing to do is kill them with kindness. Left line. And you can also kill them with success. As I get flooded out of my building, pop a quick dock and a bat. The teammates that took me for granted were quick to fall apart. And it's no secret when you're killing them with kindness or killing them with success, either option, they will submit and start giving you rewards. No left lane, uh, gold backpack. I want to have a gold backpack. Don't mind if I do. The rewards are great and all, but the one thing I despise about playing support legends is that your climbing ability will be tested. Ah! Five seconds. And we got into the prime position to attack with no mistakes, but at this moment, timing is going to be key. I take back what I said about my teammates. They didn't take me for granted. Maybe at first they did. I will say though, the best thing about playing support is that you can help prevent your teammates from leaving the game, which is one of the biggest issues Apex players face today. They die, have no hope, leave the game and get into the next one. Hey, to each their own, but I'm gonna make it my mission to try and keep my full team in the game from here on out. Well, it looks like we failed this time. We don't need your zip lines anyways. Well, last game was a fluke, but this time around, I have a Bangalore and a Crypto as a team. And on paper, we're definitely lacking in the mobility department, but if we can play together and use our kits to a T, I definitely think we can cause some ruckus and come out on top. Good, I'm the jump master. Bangalore with the beautiful knock after I get the crack. And Crypto following up with the juicy EMP. With no time to waste, we need to get involved and capitalize on this damage. I'm on the way, Crypto! Speed, violence, and momentum, as the doc would say. We executed that plan to perfection. But as we invest further into Fragment, we find another team locking down the hill. So 
so we patiently wait until the perfect opportunity to strike. EMP is activated, and now we make the move. Take down two, but the last one is a Valkyrie and she escapes with the ult. Gotcha. Things were looking really good this game, and I had a strong feeling that we were all going to make it out alive. But there's one little problem. We're messing with the wrong 3-stack. As I get caught up trying to knock one off their team, I notice I'm extremely split from my teammates. So I try my best to cover and make my way over. Bangalore goes down on the wide open tracks and Crypto gets cracked. And I knew if I didn't get to my teammate immediately, we were gonna lose this game. And that should tell you everything to know about this squad. Their shots are perfectly coordinated. But we're not giving up yet. We've came way too far to end it like this. I knew this team was confident off the jump. And in a 2v3 situation, me and Crypto have to make every shot count. Little rascal got away from me. As my teammate picks up the second knock, I desperately try my hardest to ping where the wraith is coming from. This is one of the best cryptos I've ever played with in my entire life. And just like that, we managed to do the impossible. Don't worry, Bangalore, your death will be avenged. And this last squad has no idea the motivation we have behind us. As we rotate it to the next zone, Crypto does a phenomenal job of pointing out where the last squad is. And it looks like they're settled in with Caustic. So I knew this fight wasn't going to be an easy task. And there's only two ways this is going to unfold. Either I get a knock while they go for the bait package, or we're going to have to execute a perfectly planned EMP push. Even though our teammates banner timed out, we were able to successfully keep them in the game with full confidence, two support legends, and a dream. Champion.